Hi, this is Pradeep. Welcome to interview series. In this video, I'm going to add uh, four to five questions from different topic. This completely was this video so that you will get some benefit from this video. So let's move into the PPT to understand all the questions in detail. Let's read this question. Imagine a user has posted wrong depreciation data for some assets and the financial year is already closed. Now, how we will rectify this issue and reset this data? Now, answer this question can be different in both EC system as well as S4 system because in ECC or uh, in S4 or in new asset accounting, we have some better solutions are there. So first answer is if it is EC system. So here uh, the financial year is already closed. So that means the rectification cannot be done in the same financial year. So rectification is only possible in the next financial year that is in ECC. And for this, we have to reverse the excess depreciation that has been already posted. And for that, we have to use the transaction code ABSO and the transaction type will be 700. So let's uh, let me show you here the uh, SAP screen and uh, particularly right now I'm showing here the ECC screen. So this one is ECC screen and this is my transaction code ABSO. So here you need to add your company code, you need to add your asset, then your posting date and the transaction type. So this transaction type should be 700. Okay, so it is possible in ECC. So we will run it, then the financial entry will be generated at the time of depreciation posting, that means in AFAB and that too in the next financial year because year already closed. Whereas in S4, the concept is completely different because in S4, we have, as you know, that in our new asset accounting, we have the fat table are there. So that means all your plan depreciation will be, it will be there in your fat table, fat underscore plan underscore values. So that's why if some depreciations are any wrong posting is there or let's say some it is, something is missing. So in that case, there is no issue. We will continue this. Uh, we will uh, because if you go to the S4, you can see in S4 there is no repeat restart. All these things are not there because here the depreciation is already calculated. That means plan depreciation is already calculated and it is there in the fat table as in few assets or some asset, some issue is there, wrong depression is there, which we are going to recalculate. Simply, we are just going to add your asset and after that, we will run the depreciation because let's say we have total 10 assets are there and out of 10, 8 depreciation is already posted for 8 asset depreciation is already posted. So only for 2 assets, we are going to run the depreciation. So for that 2 assets, depreciation is still, it is there in the fat table. So that's why no adjustment I think is required and it will be automatically to work. So there will be 2 different approach, 2 different solutions depends on which version it is there. You try it, try to configure the same in the, both in S4 and ECC or in next video, I'm going to give you the practical solution for that. I'm going to show you the scenario. But before that, I want you to try in from your end. If you have S4 system, try it in S4. If you have ECC, try it in ECC. Or And if you have both systems, then compare, then you will get more clarity related to these questions. Now coming to the next question. It is related to our reconciliation account. So that means if you are going to change the reconciliation account, Okay, so if you are going to change the reconciliation account, then uh, account in the vendor master, then what will be the impact on the old balance? Normally, we don't do that. Normally, business don't do that. But maybe in interview, one of the hypothetical questions. So if you are going to change the reconciliation account in the vendor master, then what will be the impact in the old balance? First of all, the change is possible when you have, I mean, there should not be any open item in your for your vendor. If it is CC, then there should not be no data in your BSIK table. And if it is S4, then there should not be any data in your AC docket table. That is the condition one. Because if we have the open items are there, then reconciliation account change no, uh, not possible. Let's say there is no open item. So as we don't have any uh, open item, so once the reconciliation account will be changed, then the old balance will appear in the old reconciliation account. And since the there are already old entries are there, so it does not have any problem in your reporting point of view and your updated balance. Okay, so this would be the answer. So if changes, if you want to do the changes or business they want to do the changes, then there should not be on any open item. And after op clearing the open items, after payment in the open, uh, after making the payment of, of open items, they can change it, but that change will not reflect or that change is not going to impact in your future balance. So it is going to only update in the old balance. So that would be the answer here.
to the next question so client is required here profit and loss balance with financial statements that means for their financial statements they are looking here 12 plus 6 months that means they are here looking 12 normal periods and 6 special periods with considering that special periods for next 6 months so that means they are looking here total 18 months again it's purely hypothetical questions because in no way in no case you or business is going to use six posting periods six special periods because sap cannot manage more than 16 periods so that is why normally every report anything you will check you will find 12 plus 4 12 your normal periods and four normal uh, your special periods and we know why we are using four special periods here for your uh, year and adjustment point of view or maybe quarterly also we can use that now here why the client is asking six posting periods maybe they are thinking that we need uh, uh, six months maybe for our uh, audit point of view so maybe we are going to start our audit but here again the audit is uh, this posting periods are not related to months it is related to the periods so when you are going for any special period adjustment entries so we are assigning the types as for the period so like for example 13 for your uh, stock adjustment 14 for your subsidiary entries uh, or uh, let's say 15 for something so that's why four special periods are more than enough in fact if i would say business in fact they are not using four special periods also most of the time so that's why there, there is no way that they are going to get six posting periods and it is not required also so answer is 12 plus four special periods coming to the next question that is related to FISD integration so billing document not released the accounting document that means here we have run uh, let's say you have executed uh, your uh, sd document or sd user executed the sd document and with reference to that there is no accounting document is not generated so this is the problem here what would be the reason now here multiple situations are there where you will not get any accounting document so option one will be the accounting documentation error first you check your fisd integration that is your revenue account determination that may be something issue is there related to your FISD configuration if that one is correct then check your pricing procedure check your condition type condition records that could be the second reason if both are correct then check your master data for both customer as well as your material master because normally in VKWA settings we are using account assignment groups so if account assignment groups are there for your revenues for your product whether it is finished product service whatever the product what are the item make sure that in the material master also same should be there or in your uh, customer also same should be there so some lot of time you will find that account assignment groups are changed or it is not updated so that could be the reason like all the billing document is generated but with reference to billing document there is no accounting documents are there so this could be the uh, one of the reason here now coming to next question it is related to batch jobs the question is why we need the batch jobs or what is the need of why do we need to run the sap jobs the batch jobs what is the need here now here the, for first of all when we are going to use the batch jobs so we need to run the batch when like some transaction need to be significantly going to consume time so if let's say it is going to that means user is stuck if let's say there is no bad jobs concept is there so that means if it is going to take the time that means user is not going to do anything so that is why so if for example your depreciation so depreciation is always executed as be your bad job so that times we are doing something and it is working because normally we have so many assets are there we have so many transactions are there so that's why it will take time for the depreciation execution particularly in ECC as for it is much more faster but in ECC this is time consuming process so for that purpose we are using batch jobs this could be reason one second option like when the batch will be executed normally when we are going to process the bulk data so that time we prefer the batch jobs so definitely performance issue will be there I mean performance impact will be there so we will decide like at what time the system load will be less or that will be that means uh, system is uh, uh, occupancy is less or system load is low so maybe that time we can schedule the bad jobs and that time it will be executed so that performance impact will not be there or other business operations will not be impacted then after that we can check the status of your badge in your transaction code sm37 so through the spool now if you have any similar questions or or i will add in my next interview series thank you